Hey guys, what's up? It's Janie B at Sparkle in the Darkness. Welcome. If you're new, if you're coming back, and then welcome back. Yay, so glad you're back. Today, let's talk short horror movies. Now, a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video on a little movie called Slaver Day 7, and that is a short independent horror film that you must watch because it is very entertaining and it is funny and it was great. It was delightful. I loved it so much that it got me thinking about short films and how underexposed they are. So I wanted to share a little video or create a little video talking about a couple of the short films that I really like. And I want to share that with you so that maybe you can check them out if you have not heard of these or if you haven't watched them. First one I want to talk about is called Weirdo. Okay, so Weirdo is a movie about the goat man. Um, I was Googling earlier to look at the goat man, the whole thing with the goat man, and I think there are variations or other versions of the goat man, but this one in particular that is in the movie is based on a Nancy's goat man story, which I think is a Reddit. I'll include the link below and you can check it out and read it and then you can watch Weirdo. Um, so the goat man is like a shapeshifter that assumes his way into small groups of friends. So like say you're having a party and you've got your friends there, this entity assumes a form of someone you know and is there the whole time and you don't know it. So. I think that's creepy. I liked it. I thought it was great. I thought the, the, the short film was great. So you should check out Weirdo. You should read a Nazi's Goatman story. And since we're talking about that, it made me think of a movie on Netflix that I saw not that long ago called Head Count. And it's pretty much like Weirdo. I mean, it's a, a different setting, but it's the same type of premise. And Headcount, I really enjoyed Headcount, and I think you will too if you haven't watched the movie yet. So Headcount on Netflix, Weirdo, I'll include the link, and The Goatman Story, I will include the link too also. The next one, or the other one that I wanted to talk about is the 2 a.m. Smiling Man. Now, I don't know how many of you are Reddit readers, Reddit fans, but there is a thread I'm sure that you're familiar with called the No Sleep Thread. And this was an entry on the Reddit No Sleep Thread. And it was about a guy that was out at 2 a.m. and runs into, comes across a very strange, possibly demented, person, the smiling man. So I'm going to include the link to that story and to that movie, which I believe you can find on YouTube, here on YouTube. All right. So weirdo, head count, head count's not a short film, but it goes along with weirdo and 2 a.m. the smiling man. So as I was looking at the information on these two movies, I came across creepypasta.com and I didn't realize this, but they have a page that's dedicated to short movies and they've got a whole listing on there. Like they've got the links and I think they've got some embedded. So I'm going to be checking those out later. Short movies at creepypasta.com. So speaking of short films, Oh, and because creepypasta.com, I wrote this in my notes. One of the movies on creepypasta.com was based on a two sentence horror story. Uh, Netflix has this series based on two sentence horror stories called Two Sentence Horror Stories. You should definitely check that one out. The episodes, you know, they're all standalone episodes. And like with any anthology type, of a series. You're going to get some that are really, really good. You're going to get some that are not so great, but I think they're all worth a watch. And yeah, that's also on Netflix, two sentence horror stories. Um, while we're on the subject of 
short films. This gets me thinking about Quibi. So I don't really know if I want to get started on that whole thing. In fact, maybe I should just do another video on Quibi talking about that. But Quibi stands for Quick Bites, which are very short episodes in series that are meant to be watched while you're on the go. Yeah, I think I'll do another video, so I'm not rambling on about that. All right, so that's it for today. I just wanted to mention a couple of the short movies that I really enjoyed, and because I love talking about anything having to do with horror, and I'm just having a really hard time finding stuff. I think I've gone through all the good stuff. I've looked at the list of horror movies online, and so if you have any suggestions for me, that would be awesome. You should drop a comment below and let me know. I'm always looking for new stuff to watch. Um, I still haven't watched Antrim yet, by the way. I'll get there. Um, if you like this video, then click the like button. And like I said, drop a comment below. And subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications of other uploads. But yes, if you're a horror fan, you like talking horror, please, by all means, subscribe, comment. I would love to have a discussion on this beloved genre of mine. That's it, you guys. I guess I will see you on the next one. You take care of yourselves, and yes, see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>